Hi guys, my name is Ray Prakash and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Rodha. So as you know, this is the second part of the first set. Okay, the, in the first uh, second uh, part of the set, quant based puzzle. Okay, so in the first part on the last class, we got the answer. What we got the answer as actually one. So we got the answer one for this question actually. Fine. Now the question here says that. Uh, the second question n equal to 15 right so now once you get the logic of the first question right so just to remind you what logic I used in the first question I told that there is a weighing machine actually okay so once there is a weighing machine here fine so in what what is the minimum or what is the minimum number of weighing I can put right so let's say uh, if I bought a digital machine here fine just try to get this point right okay so and let's say there's a meter here fine so there's a meter here fine yeah so now in that what actually we are seeing is i told that from the first and we have 10 balls at 10 bags at really right so we have 10 box and we have one ball box in each ball okay so once we had 10 box here fine this box number one box number two box number three like that we have what 10 boxes here each box contain 10 balls of one kg and any one box contained one 10 balls of 2 kg right so the logic which i use is from the num from we take we try and take distinct number of balls right just listen to the logic guys okay we try and take distinct number of balls from each bag as long as it possible okay we try and take distinct bags okay distinct balls okay let me write this also it's very point concept for this set actually okay so right here we try and take distinct number of balls from each box as long as it is possible as long as it is possible okay so for example guys let's say we have got 10 balls in each box okay so that means i from first ball i can pick one from second ball back ball bag i can pick two from third i can pick three like that from 10th i can pick 10 okay that's how i got answer as basically one for the first question now if you go to second question here guys now in equal to 15 actually so again if i try to apply same funda we try and take distinct number of balls from each of the box as as long as it is possible right okay so again i can pick one ball from uh, one back from first uh, one ball from first back two ball from second back third ball from three back like that okay i can keep on picking those so again my answer should be one only right for second question also my answer should be one same funda right from the first bag bag i'll pick i'll pick one ball from second bag i'll pick two balls from third bag i'll pick three balls and like that from 10th ball backs i uh, 10th bag i'll pick 10 balls right so if I add all this 1 to 10, suppose that every every case, ball was 1 kg in weight. So addition of 1 to 10 is how much? It is equal to 55 kg. Right. Again, same thing. So it doesn't matter, right? As long as I can pick distinct number of balls from each bag, it doesn't matter. It is equal to 10 or it is more than 10. Or basically, if there was 20 bags, there has to be 20 balls in each, right? So that, so that I could pick distinct number from each bag. Okay. So... If it is 56 kg that means first bag contains those 1 kg ball if it is 57 kg that means second bag contains those 2 kg ball those things right so i can say that whenever whenever guys whenever number of balls okay number of balls is greater than number of bags and if we have a weighing digital machine huh in that case the minimum number of weighing will always be one minimum number of weighing will always be one that can generalize it right actually and yeah, no. just think over it right what i told actually that let's say we have 20 bags and we have 20 bags and we have 25 balls in each bag okay that means from first bag i can pick one ball from second i can pick two from third i can pick three like that from 20th bag i can pick 20 balls again same thing I'll put all those 1 to 20 summation here. So summation of 1 to 20 is how much? Summation of 1 to 20 is 210. Okay. 
so if we have got 210 if the weight is 210 kg that's all sorry 210 kg should be the ideal weight right if the weight is 211 kg that means first bag contains the 2 kg balls if the weight is 215 kg that means fifth bag contains the 2 kg balls like that right so in any time when number of balls in each box in each bag is greater than total number of bags in that case minimum number of weighing should always be equal to one okay so it doesn't matter how what was the number actually fine now we'll try and use this one in the other questions right now look here guys this this, this this third question says here for n equal to 2 when the third question says here for n equal to 2 that means in each box there are 10 balls now this fund i can't apply because number of balls is now less than number of bags actually right so if i try to pick this 10 number i can pick only two numbers that is one or two fine so what will actually what actually i'll think is so i'll think about from this funder right we try and take distinct with sorry we try and take distinct number of we try and take distinct number of uh, balls from each box as long as it is possible so in this case if we have n equal to 2 i think we have only two possibilities i can pick either one or two so let's do it right so what i'll do if, if i've got 10 ball bags actually and in all the 10 bags, I have got two balls each. Okay, so what I'll do is, just, uh, 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 understand this guys, what I'll do here, from the first, from the five bags actually, because in from the five bags, I can pick one ball and from the five bags, I can pick two balls. That's how it is, only two distinct number I can pick, but I have got 10 bags with me. So from the first five bag, from the first five bag, I'll pick one ball each. Okay, and from the second five bags, ah, so that is from number six to ten, I'll pick two balls each. Right. So now tell me, guys, how many balls I have? So I've got how many balls now? Two into five. There are five bags, right? So two into five, I've got ten balls, and one into five, I've got five balls. So total, I've got fifteen balls, right? Total, I've got fifteen balls. Now, if I place them on a digital weighing machine, right? What should have? What should happen? The reading should be ideal. 15 kg if it is ideal, right? But it's not ideal. One bag con contains two kg balls. So if the reading is 16 kg, that means I have sorry, reading can't be 16 kg, right? Sorry. If the reading is here 20 kg, okay. If the reading is here 20 kg, because there are at least five balls, right? So either these uh, either these five balls. <laughs> Okay, so if the if the reading is 15 kg here, right? So obviously the reading can't be 15 kg because it's the ideal weighing, weighing. Not all the bags are containing one kg ball. Now tell me, guys, if the weight if, if the if the weight if the weight is 16 kg, if the weight is 16 kg, if the reading is 16 kg, what I'll assume is or what I'll uh, what I'll understand is that there is one ball extra of one kg, right? That means that has to be from first five. Okay. And if if I if I pick uh, two balls actually if I if if the reading is seventeen kg, then there are two balls on this weighing machine which are of one one kg extra because one kg I already counted. That means there are two balls here. That is seventeen kg, right? So that basically means that this I, that do that uh, that bag containing two kg balls will be the second five. That is from six to ten actually. Fine. Now, what I'm trying to say, say here is now that let's say that 16 kg and 17 kg are the only two possibilities. Can I say that? There's no other possibilities because weight can't be 18 kg. For weight to be 18 kg, there has to be at least two balls or three balls of more than if the weight is 18 kg. Think about scenario, right? The ideal is 15 kg, but it is 18 kg. That means there's one ball extra of 2 kg or there's one ball extra of 1 kg. Or that there is three ball extra of one kg. That is not possible, right? Because there's only one bag which contains two kg balls, and in each bag there are only two balls right now. So there can be maximum two balls of two kg each. That means the one kg extra from what I counted. I counted already one kg for all these fifteen balls. So fifteen plus two is seventeen, or if plus one is sixteen, right? So now only two possibilities are here. Fine. That means that basically what I can say is. In the first way, in the first, in the first way, ah, 
I have only five boxes left. After the first weighing, understand this, guys? After the first weighing, okay, I have only five boxes left because either it has to be in first half, first five boxes, or second five boxes, right? Only five boxes are left. Okay. Now think over it. Now we have got five boxes left. Now what I'll do again, guys? Those five boxes contain two balls actually. So all those five boxes contain two balls, right? So again, what I'll try to do. So now I always try to find symmetry. Actually, fine because there are five boxes here. Ah, so the one case will be symmetry. Case will be I'll I'll make the groups of two and two actually, right? So what I'm trying to say here is because from the first two bags I'll pick one ball, okay. And so second two bags I'll pick two balls. Correct. Again, as long as we distinct number, ah, uh, it is possible to distinct number, right? So one balls into two and two into two. How many we have got? We got guys now. We have got two plus four. We have got six balls right now. So once we have got six balls right now. So can I say that the weight is a weight could be exactly be six kg? So if the weight is exactly six kg, that means in second wing, this is second wing going going on, right? Okay. In second after first wing, second wing, right? In second wing, there's a possibility that weight can be exactly six kg. If the weight is exactly six kg, that means there is fifth box which is faulty. Faulty means having two kg balls, right? But that is a special. That is a special case, right? I don't have to go with special case. I have to solve it by complete funda. That what is the minimum number of wing by which I am sure that this is the this is for sure the answer. Okay. After this many wings, I will be surely identifying those balls, right? This is this is just a special case that if it is six kg, then fifth ball it is fifth bag ball it bag it is there, right? So now let's leave out this case, guys. This is after first wing, after second wing. Let's find out that okay. Now the take take the worst case. What is the worst case? It is not six kg. It is more than six kg, right? So that means we have to go for a third wing now. Okay, in third wing, what will happen now? So basically, again same thing, right? So if if the weight is exactly six kg, uh, weight can't be exactly six kg, right? Six kg is ideal. If the weight is seven kg, that means there is one ball of one kg that is extra. So if one ball of one kg that is extra, that means what I should do? One ball of one kg extra. That means it is in first two boxes. Okay, and if if the weight is exactly eight kg, that means there are two balls of two kg extra. Ah, huh? one one kg extra each. That means it is second box basically. That means after third wing, I am left with only two boxes, right? Only two boxes because I am not taking it a special case right now. So only two boxes are left in third wing. Okay, let me write somewhere here, guys. This is overlapping actually. Fine. Yeah, I should write it. Okay. Okay, see guys. So in third, okay. See in third wing, in third wing, I'm left with the option of how much? Only two boxes, one and one. One. That is two boxes, right? Now those two boxes will again contain two ball each. Okay. So this is in this is after first wing, five boxes are left. After second wing, two boxes are left. And in third wing, out of two boxes. What I'll pick from the first bag, I'll pick one ball. From second bag, I'll pick two ball. Again, logic is same thing, right? We try and take distinct number of balls from each box as long as it is possible. Okay, so that's how we take it, right? That basically means that it is sixteen kg, seventeen kg. Okay, and uh, like that we came to seven and eight, and finally we came to two possibilities. What is the possibility here, guys? The possibility is the first one here. If the if first ball is uh, if uh, the ideal weight should be three kg, but if first ball is extra, the weight will be four kg. If the second if the second uh, second bag it says that it contains two kg balls, that means the weight should be five kg, right? So anyhow, in third wing we'll get the answer. Okay, so answer for this third third question second third second third question is three. So again a superb concept it is very nice. Right? Okay, so superb concept fine. So okay, so let's continue this in the the last question. You just try to find the answer yourself and check in the next video what is the answer. Okay, so let's continue in this part three of this beautiful set. Okay, thank you for watching, guys.